Hello, magical lovelies, and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I just thought I'd bring you along with me today while I make some chow mein for dinner. This is going to be my first time making it. And just so you know, I'm not really following the recipe. I've kind of gone a little rebel over here and added some different ingredients and whatnot that the package doesn't call for. So um, I pre-prepped all the ingredients because I didn't think you wanted to to spend an hour watching while I chop veggies and whatever. So let's just uh, get right into it. We're gonna start by heating up our wok over a low medium heat. We're gonna add some olive oil. This is to fry our, our chicken and stuff in. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame oil as well. One second. Ooh, I'm almost out of sesame oil. No bueno. Alright, I'll just let that heat up for a minute. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. Been, uh, pretty rainy over here so I haven't been able to get to a lot of the gardening and stuff though I did um, get some of the stuff transplanted and whatever so there will be a new garden video coming up really soon I hope um, kind of had an accident with the tomatoes in the rain uh, was trying to harden them off on day three and uh, while I was taking a nap we had a sudden storm and it kind of uh, bashed, let's say, some of my tomato seedlings. So the recipe calls for half a cup of diced chicken. Here we've got probably closer to a pound. So we're just gonna add this in and let that cook a little bit. While this is cooking, I'm just going to quickly wash up my cutting board. What kind of things do you like to add to your your chow mein? I've got, I'll show you here. In this bowl we have some mushrooms, red onions, celery, green peppers, uh, I think that's it. Onion, green peppers, celery, mushrooms, oh and carrots. So that will go in once our chicken is almost cooked. And we're just gonna kind of loosely follow the directions on this bag because, well, a lot of them say half cup this, half cup that. Well, I don't follow those kind of things. I just kind of cook what I have. Um, the, some of the mushrooms and some of the celery were starting to go bad, so I thought I'd throw those in. There was three carrots left, so I thought I'd throw those in before they go bad. Um, this says fried chicken in fat, add peppers and onions, chicken broth, cover, and cook until veggies are tender. So, hello. Um, from where? The liquor store. Uh, yes, but I... I can wait. Um, just hold on one second, people. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My son's girlfriend had a question. She's going to the store, so I'm going to have her pick up a few things. Mm, the sesame seed oil smells really good. So anyways, as I was saying, um, 
last week or the weekend before, I uh, cooked down a chicken and I made some homemade stock. And this calls for one cup chicken broth. This is a quart, so a quart holds four cups. So I might take some of the water out of that pot there for when I cook the noodles and use chicken stock instead. But mind you, like I said, I'm not really following a recipe, so I'm not sure how much of the chicken stock I will need just yet. I'm enjoying a nice cup of peppermint tea while I cook dinner. Love that sound. So if you are interested in watching the prep work, just leave a comment down below. Because I know um, some people are just learning how to cook and or and or enjoy just watching people do their prep work and stuff like that so if that interests you just drop a comment this chicken's almost cooked through here so we'll be able to add those veggies in any minute snap peas and um, mung beans those get added more towards the end at least according to this so okay. um, we are uh, a relatively small family of four but um, my son is a really big eater, so even though this may look like a lot of food, uh, it won't last long. So I'm not really too worried about having excess leftovers because they can always be fried up or um, microwaved tomorrow for lunch. That's one less meal that I'll have to cook. Alright, so this looks just about ready to add. To start adding the veggies. Um, you can pretty much use any kind of meat for a chow mein. You can use pork, you can use chicken, you could use seafood. Um, it's really good with ham too, but I personally haven't made it with ham. A friend of mine did, and it was really good. And everybody makes theirs a little bit different. Some follow the directions, some don't. I'm, I'm not one for really following a recipe. I tend, like I said, I tend to just kind of do my own thing. Okay, so this says to add the chicken broth and cover until the veggies are tender. So we're going to do that. But because, as you can see, I have such a large amount. Oh, I guess you can't see. Since I have such a large amount in the pot already. Okay, 
I think I'm just going to probably use that whole quart. Because you can never have too much flavor. And if it's too much sauce, I can always add more cornstarch or whatever and a little bit down the road to help thicken it. Or I can just toss the noodles right into this and cook them right inside of this. So that's what we're going to do. Collagen goodness off the top. We're going to turn this up just a bit. Give this another quick stir before we cover it. So that shouldn't take too long for the veggies to cook. In the meanwhile, let's see what else it says. That's sprouts and peas once that's done. Bring to a boil so I guess I can turn this up a bit. Boil noodles in a quart of water for three minutes and drain in your colander. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Get this water boiling. This is one tablespoon cornstarch and one tablespoon soy sauce. So I've probably got to quadruple that. There's four tablespoons of soy sauce. And to that, we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of oyster sauce, even though the directions don't call for it. I think it'll just be tasty. It says to add 
one part cornstarch to one part soy sauce. So we'll add four. Well, you can't even see what I'm doing over here. Sorry, guys. As you can tell, I'm still getting used to the whole filming thing. cornstarch oh man I, I just showered myself with corn paste see it's snowing See, this is why I should wear an apron. I bought myself one, but I don't know where I put it. All right. So let's give a check on our veggies here. Mmm, that smells really good. directions say again uh, okay, so let's see if they're tender yet almost I'll put that on for another minute or two and mix up this slurry Water's almost ready for our noodles. You want to get your cornstarch all incorporated so that it doesn't go lumpy. Might have to add a bit of water here. the lumps out. Water's boiling. Timer for four minutes.
kitchen helper mysticas down here at my feet scrounging for bits Two minutes on the noodles. Uh, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells delicious. Just like that, and dinner's just about done. I thought about adding some Asian five spice to the veggies, but I don't know how that would taste in chow mein. So we'll see uh, See what I change between now and the next time I make this. But it's looking really good for being my first time and not really following all the directions. Okay, look out, bro. Hot. Hot. Look out. definitely say that these uh, these noodles don't really look too much like what you get in chow mein at, the, at a fast food place.
Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be enough cornstarch. give this a minute to thicken and oh it is thickening that's good so we'll just give this a minute to do its thing I'm making a mess oh yeah that's looking great Mmm, looks like it could use some more oyster sauce. Alright, Magical Lovelies, now for the taste test. Mm. Yep, that's pretty good. Alright, well before I call everyone to come and eat, I'm just going to quickly whip up the dishes, clean up the mess I made, and we'll just let this simmer for another minute or two while I do that. Continue to let the sauce thicken. And, uh, yeah. So... So thank you for joining us this evening, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me learn how to cook chow mein, and um, remember to be kind to everybody, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell, and we will see you hopefully tomorrow or sometime in the next few days if the weather improves. Okay, thank you so much, and have a pleasant evening. Cheers.